Good morning, Husky Light here. It's Wednesday the 15th of April 2015. I've got your Angel Oracle cards here this morning. Um, first of all, thank you so, so much for your likes, your subscribes, Google Pluses. I really do appreciate it. And I love you all. And we're starting off <coughs> with me with a bad throat this morning. And a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. You didn't consciously choose this card, but it was likely that your hand was guided to choose this card by the love and inspiration of someone you consider as a mother. A mother's love never dies and lives on forever. And even though we are here in the spirit world, we need you to know that love never ends and will continue to nurture you, protect you and keep you on your path. This card can also indicate that you may need to mother and nurture yourself at this specific time. So for a lot of you, either your mum has passed on and is in spirit world and she's just popping down to say that she's around you today and everything's okay and she's looking after you and for others... It could mean, if your mum's not passed on, that you need to nurture yourself a little bit today, that you need to look after yourself. Maybe you've been feeling a bit down or a bit low, um, and you need to, to look after yourself, to love yourself today. Spirit knows how heavy your heart is right now and encourages you to remember the good times shared with your mum. For those special memories, remain with her here in the spirit world. Your mother wants you to thank you for all that you did and she knows that the love, care and thoughts that you gave her right to the end. She's saying, I never really left you. I am in the sun that rises and sets each day. I am the gentle breeze that caresses your face and when you feel the sun warm you, know that I'm holding you close in a tender embrace, whispering I love you my child. So hopefully this card is, is going to remind you today that if you've lost your mum, she is around you today and she's looking after you and she's with you. And just to remember that as you go about whatever it is you need to do today. There's obviously quite a few of you out there, I think, today feeling a bit down, so... Our second card is support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain, you, remain by your sides throughout your entire life. We bring you this card because we understand how much support you're in need of at this time. Take a good look around you and ask yourself, are there people in my life supporting me and encouraging me to grow and learn? Every relationship is about giving and receiving. There should always be an even exchange of energy. One of give and one of take. If you're feeling drained, it's a clear indication that someone is not in alignment with, with yourself or even part of a group. Surround yourself with those who can be a help to you and let you be all that you can be. If there's somebody around you who's not serving you, who's not making you feel good, who's not helping you do the things that you want to do or helping you do the, the things that you need to do, who's not there to listen to you, who's not there for you to talk to, who maybe has got their own agenda, um, you know, maybe it's time to have a look at not having them in your life so much um, or, or moving them away, moving away from them because you're supposed to be the light you're supposed to be the light shining on everybody and supporting everyone and making everybody else happy so if there's somebody around you who's dragging you down and bringing you down to a lower vibration it's not good for you you need to raise your vibration you need to get happy you need to look after yourself support yourself and move away from those who aren't serving you anymore those who are not who don't have your best interests at heart um, so whether it's 
a, a marriage or a friendship or a partnership of some sort, just have a think about what you need to do today. Maybe it could be that you just need to talk to them and let them know where you stand, be firm in your truth, let them know that you know, you're not happy about a situation um, or maybe you've already tried to do that in the past and it's not worked and now's the time to start moving away from them. Don't let them bring you down. Don't let them be unhappy. You know, you need to be happy, you need to move on, you need to shine that light of yours, you need to get that strength from inside you and stay strong. So, and your last card today is Hello from Heaven. So we've got an awful lot of support from the other side today. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know that you've been thinking of them and to prove they're with you at this time, they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you. This card comes forth now because you may be thinking of somebody that you're missing. So this serves as a validation that he or she is still with you. When a loved one passes over and leaves this physical world, the familiar methods of ordinary communication get interrupted for a time until a new form of communication is established. Usually when somebody passes over, when they die, especially if they were ill, when they passed away or weren't in the best of health, they need time on the other side to get better, to heal, just the way we heal here. Um, and they need to learn a new form of communication with you. They need to learn signs and symbols that they can send you and they need the strength to do that as well. You know, so sometimes you may not hear from a loved one for a while when they've passed over um, until they get to know what things are like on the other side, until they can, can relearn how to communicate with you in a different way. Trust that this is really your loved one's presence that you're feeling. Acknowledge that they visit you in dreams or when they send you specific scent that reminds you of them. Another way for them to let you know they're around is blinking lights, TV sets turning on and off, shiny pennies suddenly appearing from nowhere or even your cell phone ringing with their name being displayed. These are just some of the many signs and symbols, so put loving thoughts out to them and let them know that you're ready to receive more and that they've got your attention. Be thank thankful for these signs and symbols. Cherish and hold them close to your heart, for they truly are hellos from heaven. So just watch out today for, for little signs, um, numbers appearing, butterflies, things that, things that resonate with you when you see them. Um, and especially if you are thinking of your loved ones over there today, um, just realise that they are trying to say hello from to you and they miss you just as much as you miss them and that they're around you and they're supporting you um, along with your, your angels and your higher consciousness and the universe. They're all supporting you today. So there is no need for you to be upset about anything or be afraid of anything just know that they're supporting you and especially at this time if you're having trouble with somebody around you who maybe isn't supporting or or serving you in a way that is beneficial to you usually if that's happening down here on earth then you will have your loved ones and your angels a lot closer to you than usual um, even if you can't feel them know that they're there and they're supporting you so just look out for your hellos from heaven today. So that's your angel cards for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, look after yourselves today. Namaste. Have a wonderful, brilliant day. I'm sending you all my love and blessings. And I will speak to you tomorrow. Namaste.